Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD. Thank you. Hey y'all, welcome back to another potentially entertaining episode of Epic Stock DD. And again, this video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only. They should not be considered a recommendation to buy or sell security. I'm sharing this video and all my videos for entertainment purposes only. With that said, let's jump right into this potentially exciting video. Within this video, I'm going to talk, I'm going to, uh, talk about why play penny stocks, why trade penny stocks instead of big board stocks. So obviously your big boards being New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, American Stock Exchange. You know, when you turn on your big television network and you see that little ticker going across with the red and the, and the green, those are typically big boards. But over-the-counter stocks are often referred to as penny stocks are something that a lot of people, like myself, find to be very entertaining. So why trade penny stocks instead of big board stocks? Well, number one, penny stocks are often very, very cheap price per share. Now, I use the word cheap very uh, carefully because just because the dollar amount or the sub-penny amount implies that something is cheap, well, you could have a big board stock that's potentially trading at $100 a share, and it could still be cheap because it's probably got, it's possibly got a lot of room to run. You could be getting a penny stock at triple zero two, you know, a fraction of a penny, and maybe there's no possibility that thing will run. So even though the, the price per share is sub penny versus a big board stock that's maybe $100 a share, doesn't mean that the sub penny stock is cheap. So again, be careful how you badge a stock. You know, don't say something's cheap just based upon the, the dollar amount of the, uh, of the particular ticker symbol. So I trade penny stocks instead of big board stocks because I find them to be more entertaining. Part of that is heavily linked to the fact that they are so flim flammy. You know, there's so many fly by night companies that may project the false image that they are a, an actual company, that they actually have um, their shareholders in mind and that they have a business strategy to create a ton of profit, profitability in the future. And they do it so well that, you know, people that aren't even penny stock players, they bite in and they say, wow, you know, I got to get in early because, you know, if I don't, I'm going to be missing the bus, man, you know. You know, they do that, and that's, that's part of the excitement is watching these penny stocks. Even if you're not trading penny stocks, just watching them and, and reading all the storyline, you know, the storyline from the company itself, the storyline from the forums, the, uh, the storyline from the media, you know, if they attract media attention. You know, how is all of that relayed, and how is all of it spun? And throughout all of that, is there some actual good business that can be uncovered or is it all flim flam i mean for the most part with penny stocks again always expect to lose it all always expect a penny stock to be a scam company and you know with that being said i'm still attracted to penny stocks because i like trading penny stocks more than big board stocks because with a big board you know they're they're those uh those uh the big boards they're they're subject to a lot more scrutiny when it comes to uh to transparency with their shareholders so you know, a lot of these, especially the pink sheet penny stocks, they don't have a lot of stuff they got to make public if they choose to not do so. So if they choose not to do so, rather. So it's, it's uh, you know, it enables those penny stock, the, uh, the minds, the crooks often behind the penny stocks to, uh, to be able to create this fake news. And even if it's not relayed in a way that's fake, it's crafted in a way that, you know, you've got to really read stuff well. And you've got to understand how to, and we'll talk, talk eh, we'll tackle this in other videos, but, you know, how to decipher a, a verifiable claim from something that's simply a forward-looking statement. You know, we're, we're going to talk about that in another video, but, yeah, penny stocks are just so much more fun for me than the big boards because you get to really dissect all of this junk, you know, again, from the company in the form of press releases. From the media, you know, the media picks something up. Oh, maybe there's a penny stock that, that the, uh, that the that the volume has just spiked, and it's you know it came from very little to no volume, and now there's hundreds of millions of shares trading, and 
you know, what's created that? You know, see how the media is going to spin that news or spin that activity, that event, the event being volume. Um, also, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the people in the forums, that's what I like the most because you go into a forum and again, this is just all, you know, I don't talk about specific ticker symbols. I just have a good time talking about penny stocks. So, um, if you go into a forum and look at a stock, this is what I would encourage you to do. So go to a popular forum. One of the forums I like is investorshub.com, iHub. Go in there, look at the most active, or go to otcmarkets.com, check out my how to screen for penny stocks video. <laughs> go to otcmarkets.com during any trading day, preferably towards the beginning. You know, look for the volume actives. Find those penny stocks that have a ton of volume. Preferably one, if you look at the chart, that the volume was next to nothing or, or uh, you know, none possibly for the several days prior to that and then go to that forum for that stock the day that it had the surge of volume and read all the comments from people. And I mean, you will see people that are, I mean, they're just, they're just totally speculating. They can make these elaborate claims with nothing to back them up. But then you may find the people in the forums that are making these claims and I say, oh, per this press release or per this website, you know, per my finding, you know, here's a link here. You know, this is why I made this claim. So there may be some potentially uh, verifiable claims made within the penny stock forums. But even if you follow those links that people in the forums may post, they may go to links where there's a bunch of fluff in there. And just because something's in writing on a website, just because something's in writing in a press release, just because it's in writing within a forum post, doesn't mean that there's anything that's valid about that claim. You know, that's where, just like the channel says, Epic Stock Due Diligence, Epic Stock DD. You know, do your own due diligence. Don't accept something as being the truth just because you've seen it in writing from one or more, or more sources. You know, do your own due diligence and decipher what may be real from what is verifiably fake. And again, I did not say what is real. I said what may be real because what you'll find, what you'll probably find with penny stocks is that most everything is not real. So with that being said, there's stuff that is convincing enough to where um, it creates a lot of volume and it may even attract buying interest from the hedge funds and those sorts of things. And when you get that, you get real money coming into a stock. And if you're smart, I mean, again, this is for entertainment purposes only. It should not be considered a recommendation to buy or sell security. If you play with penny stocks, expect to lose it all because that's probably what's going to happen. But, you know, with that being said, you know, hypothetically, if, if someone was in a stock and this pump, whatever type of pump it was, maybe it was a combination of the media, it was a combination of press releases from the company, it was a combination of that plus, you know, some influential people within the stock, uh, penny stock forums, you know, maybe it came together and it created enough seemingly positive news that people bought in and big money bought in. You know, you got the hedge funds buying in. You know, what was once a triple zero two price per share play now could be trading multi-penny. You know, and even if it is a pump and dump, you know, if that smart money recognizes that and says, oh man, I got in at triple zero two and now this is 30 cents a share. Hmm, maybe I should dump. You know, there's people, there's traders that get in and say, oh, okay, I'm up 30 cents, but this has a dollar written all over it, or this has $2 written all over it. I don't provide trading advice. Again, this is just for entertainment purposes only. But you will see people that will just become emotionally attached to stocks. And that's another video. We're going to talk about emotional attachment to penny stocks within another video. But why do I like penny stocks instead of big board stocks? This is why. It's so entertaining. I mean, not necessarily even trading as whatever stock, whatever penny stock, but just watching and deciphering and learning. And then when looking at the next penny stock that has a volume spike, you know, look back and say, well, you know, I learned this from that stock. I learned this. Okay, here's how I validated that. Blah, 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 blah. Remember, no two stocks are different. Every stock is different. So the due diligence that worked for one stock may not be the same as the due diligence that may need to be performed for another stock. 
with that said, once a trader learns how to effectively perform their own due diligence, then you're able to more quickly say, okay, boom, volume spike, okay, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, et cetera, in their own due diligence process, and be able to go out and quit more quickly, try to decipher whether or not it's total fluff, whether it's partial fluff, or maybe it's actually legit. And that's probably not gonna happen. There's probably gonna be at least some fluff in there. But being able to go in on your own and dissect all the news from the media, from the forums, from the press releases, from the company, and just see what might be going on. But again, expect to lose it all because that's probably what's going to happen. Penny stocks are very, very sketchy, but they're fun. And that's why I like penny stocks more than I like the billboards. The bleh, more than I like the big board stocks. Tell me what you think within the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do. And that'll notify you whenever I post another video. I appreciate your viewership and uh, stay tuned for more videos here soon. Thank you. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD and ring that bell icon when you do and that'll notify you whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.